Okay. I'll admit that sometimes I have to really stretch to bring you any good news on this segment. Like just last week, I said, hey, good news, guys, and then proceeded to tell you about a judge in Kentucky that temporarily blocked a law that would forbid abortions from ejaculation on, even in cases of rape and incest. And before you could utter the phrase, well, at least it's blocked, I had to admit that wasn't going to last long. The point is that when I say we've got good news, you have every right to be suspicious. And when I say that it's out of Kansas, you'd be crazy not to. But I legitimately do. And yes, at the core of this good news story is an effort to ban abortion in the state. But it's about how that effort failed in a manner so spectacular that Republican strategists could build Trump's wall entirely from the bricks that they just shit out. The referendum in question would have stripped away abortion protections that were written into the Kansas state constitution. And not only did Kansas voters say no, but they overwhelmingly said no. The no votes won the day by damn near 18 points. And this isn't just good news for Kansas's uteruses. It's good news for the whole damn country. I mean, we're talking about an off-year election and a referendum that's being held during the primaries. We're talking about a state that went for Trump by 20 points. We're talking about a state that hasn't voted for a Democratic president since Lyndon fucking Johnson. And the vote wasn't even close. And while the no votes were concentrated on the major population centers in every single county in the state, the no votes on that referendum were significantly higher than the Trump votes in 2020. In other words, everywhere in Kansas, people moved left for the sake of this vote. Now, I don't want to start counting unhatched chickens just yet, but this could be huge news. See, before the Dobbs decision, Republicans had kind of a perfect thing going with abortion. It was an issue that motivated the hell out of their base without motivating our side much at all. It's not that we didn't care about it. It's just that we didn't fear their ability to do anything about it. So every year, their candidates could say, we're going to protect unborn babies and drive their voters to the poll without inspiring all that many Democrats to vote against them. But it only really works as an issue as long as you never get what you want. The majority of Americans agree with the pro-choice side on this argument, and it's not particularly close. What's more, it's something we're every bit as passionate about as the other side is. We just rarely had to demonstrate that passion before. Of course, it remains to be seen how this is going to translate to midterm voting, but I think the Kansas numbers sort of raised the bar on how good it could realistically be for our side. And if nothing else, it made for a whole hell of a lot of new work for every Republican campaign manager in a location more liberal than Muskogee. But as good as that news is, I need to bring us back to the reality of how bad the environment it's playing out in is. And for that, we need to go no further than my home state, Georgia. And one of history's stupidest retroactive attempts at logical consistency, the Georgia Department of Revenue released new tax rules that will allow people to write embryos off as dependents on their state taxes. Specifically, as of July 20th, they would recognize, quote, any unborn child with a detectable human heartbeat, end quote, as eligible for dependent exemption. Now, this is some silly shit, granted, and it seems like it would be super easy to abuse. But rather than providing the veil of consistency they're hoping for, I feel like all they've done is highlighted just how stupid it is to pretend embryos are human beings. Its enforcement is also kind of terrifying, since it seems like you'd need a healthcare surveillance state to determine who is and isn't eligible for it, especially given the upwards of 1 in 10 pregnancies end in miscarriage. So, yeah. To summarize, we've got good news out of Kansas, but it doesn't mean you get to stop being terrified. And with that reminder, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.